Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm the director from the Optimus. My name is Eric. Today I would like to introduce the, our new technology. We have a very, very good technology. We use the laser beam scanning projection. So here is a laser beam scanning projector? Yes. And this uh, our we call the vector scan. They can incredible power. Please see here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry this a little, little power there on this yes. one? Yep. Uh, we see on the wall there that it's very very bright. Yes. And this a uh, very very incredible. Uh, okay, let me show you a very simple thing here. This only uses the power bank. And yeah. we can see here. Oh, wow. Wow. I see it on the wall over there. Yes. And this is use the tiny power bank. That we can projection to far away in the clear wow. image. And this is only the 10,000 mini amp per hour power bank. It's all the way there. And can keep around 12 hours. 12 so, hours? Yes, so means that... The, all the neighbors will watch the movie. Right, so means the customer only simply to use the solar panel and the power bank. They can do the signage, advertisement, and just no need to concern any power consumption. All right? Nice. So this is a really, really nice laser beam scanning projection. Uh, um, how can it be so so bright? Okay. What is the brightness? Actually, that's a, you're just thinking a very basically concept. If you use the laser beam point to stick on the motor, and you can think it, they just uh, use the very, very simple concept to make the laser beam point into the shortest path to get the older image. So you can get a much more high brightness under the sunshine. Also, there's no problem to affordable for the cost and the low power consumption. People use the laser beam pow laser power point long time yeah. ago. So you can understand that the older power energy consumption. By the way, what is this? This is uh, we do use the vector scan to doing the, like uh, uh, a signage or the safety indication. So for example, if you got a, like a trapping, uh, the trapping correct vehicle, once they yeah. do the operation, then they have uh, indicators. And this is low power, right? And this uh, just this use power our bank. power bank. Yeah. So how long does it run on a regular? How long it will be? 12, said 12 hours. hours. For example, you see here, this yeah. a tiny power we bank. Earlier, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That's crazy to make you crazy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a smart glass, right? And this is a, we use the same technology. And for the next generation AR glasses, ah. we're doing the laser beam scanning direct goes through your pupil into your retina. Oh. So means all the image not from the wave guide or LCD panel. It's, it's just direct on. scanning into, into your retina. Ah. So no matter you are worried about your, maybe you got some disease. For example, you are waiting for transplant for your cornea. And this one, you don't, you don't have to worry. You have a near side, far side. You are waiting for transparent near. No focus, no need. Everything eyeball independent. Just oh. make sure that your retina is good, and you can regain your vision right away. Can you show? Can you take it off? Yes. And everything is in there. Yes, everything is here. Where is the projector? Well, projector just uh, from here, just from here into your retina. Let's see. And what is this part here? And here, the, here is the our laser beam scanning engine. Engine Just there. Engine there. And this is a partnership with a this, TDK. Yes, this we work with the TDK to shrinking the of the size. Oh, yeah. But all the technology is come from the, our key components. Oh. All right. We are the same position with like a TID or P. Uh, we are doing the different way. Uh, sorry, no, this. No, no. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So uh, 
alternative to DLP, LCAS. This is called uh, LBS. Micro LED. This and is this, an alternative. Yes, this is called LBS. L L laser beam scanning projection. L how many how many people do this in the world? No, not, not much. I not think much? Not much. Only two or three. And we think we are will be the number one or number two. You number one. We Okay, yes, let me say it, that. Number one in innovation or number one in quantity? Or both? Or, or both. <laughs> both, yes. all right. Okay. So, um, Thank you. there, you're gonna swap to a different kind of glass? Yes. Is there any chance this can be smaller? Um, Same size like what you're wearing? Uh, I think so, but most important, right now, we try to upgrade the resolution to the full HD resolution. Right now, it's uh, 720p, 60 frames per second. And we try to upgrade to 1080p or even up to 4K resolution. Is this just a prototype or is it possible it can be mass production? Uh, actually, that's uh, already have a mass production one from QD Laser Fujitsu Group. They already make Which a, one? Uh, not, not here, but just check the Retisa, Retisa products in the uh, website and you can find they have a glass type. It's already setting in the market. Here, there's a other kind of a retina projection, right? Right. For the camera view, view what does it do different? Okay. What this is special is, about this? This is uh, work with the Sony cooperation. The whole set right now, the Sony is setting in Japan and North America already. And the most important is they leverage the uh, camera. They have a high, um, it means a very, very nice zoom in and zoom out, maybe 10 times or 20 times. And they can help the people if they get something uh, not good in their retina. They can use the zoom to game their uh, like a FOV, I mean the view of field, to gain the some vision back. So this is already setting uh, in North America and Japan. Also, they have another type for the a really, really nice single uh, reflector lens uh, camera. So it's, it helps the people who have problems with their eyes. So but people who might have certain problems with their eyes, yes. you have a solution. Yes, that's, uh, already, that's already proven. That's, uh, for example, like the people, they have uh, got a very, very low vision, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.04. They still can use this technology to get back the vision. How? Okay, because uh, they lever leverage the camera to take the video and just uh, direct it into their retina and just keep your retina not 100% damage. You still can leverage the rest of maybe 20%. Use the you are zoom in and zoom out. For example, if you get a zoom out far away, and you can use the rest of the retina to cover more range. Wow. So, so uh, this real product is yes. helping people. Yes, that's real. It's possible to make it smaller? Yes. Can you make it this size? Uh, that uh, is already done. So please check the, uh, our customer. This means uh, QD laser. You just check the website, you can see the glasses type. Also, you can see the difference type. And uh, before I saw challenges with the... Uh, this is showing about the smart glass. So here I see your four of your projectors. They're just projecting on the wall, huh? Right. And it, it looks like uh, it's not scanning. Uh, I see some scanning on the camera, but with the eyes, it's a stable image, right? Right, right, right. It's just uh, oh, the, sh the shutter frequency issue. So, okay. Yeah. Again, uh, let me come back here. And this is another uh, our products. We go invisible AP. Nice. Because we're doing the laser scanning technology, and this technology have a very important. Um, the advantage is means uh, focus free. Uh, yes. Sorry. So means uh, yes. 
I, I can show you here. <coughs> Hi. 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 Nice. Okay. And because most of the appear in the car, they will be get a different shape and different material. So the traditional projection technology is not suitable to projection into this kind of the location and even the material or surface. However, the laser beam scanning technology is very good, no limit on the projection surface. And the Does it matter the color? Yes, no matter, no matter. Black? Yes. Brown? Yeah, that's fine. Like so this? We can do testing here. I test it here. That's awesome. Yes. So even my hand? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Also, of course. So we leverage this technology to doing the APR, transparent APR technology. Nice. Yeah. And here uh, you're showing yes. that, for example, um, so I make a click. Let's, let's plug my phone in. You want to plug the phone? Yeah. OK. This your is a Xiaomi Show 14 me. Pro. OK. And we can do for iPhone 15, just have a type C. So just running off my phone? Yes. Uh, there's right here, cinema. Right. Nice. Uh, yeah, on my, on my DJI Pocket 3, there's uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's a frame rate, I cannot change it right now, but <coughs> maybe I can change it right here. Oh. Okay, I don't know how to change it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but so it's, it just works. It's power off the phone. It's enough power to power this from one phone. Right. And actually, we got the two more applications can leverage this technology. First one is we got the customer to use this technology to for the for the find the VIN for the injection. For example, I am the guy's a little bit puppy, so I can't it not easy to find my VIN. So they use a thermal camera to get the picture, and they can projection the VIN and easy for the nurse to get the injection. The camera is a special uh, IR or something yes. that has, yes. Yes. they can see the veins. Yes, and the other, the last one is interesting for my cu my customer. It's good for the tattoo. To the what, sorry? Tattoo. Tattoo? Because most people, they want to have a tattoo. Oh, wow. They usually, they have to find a stick. To stick on the hand or something to check and to see is the tattoo picture good and the location. So you can easily use the, this technology to position a tattoo in somewhere and, and to then make, sure, copy it. Yeah, make sure that it's okay and they just change it to the real stick paper and start with the tattoo. Nice. So there's uh, something that's really interesting for this um, laser beam scanning technology. How's going with the market for this? Okay, we will be start to selling from Amazon in end of uh, June this year, uh, the entry, uh, the, sorry, the street price will be start on 299 from the Amazon. So if the, any guys would like to have a products, and you can just uh, get it from Amazon directory the from this month. Any beam? Yes, just check the any beam keywords. And uh, what's the resolution? Uh, 720p, uh, 60 frames per second. And if I connect my Xiaomi, how long is power? Oh, if you sh you switch off the your screen and only supply to here, they can up to the eight hours. To eight hours? Yes. Is for, enough power for, for eight hours for my phone? For five thousand milliamp battery, if your cell phone get a, like a four thousand milliamp per hour or forty or four thousand five hundred, you can get. I can give you guarantee six to eight hours, but sometimes depend on your video content. If your video content is not really brightness, uh, a little bit like a darker, like a horrible movie something, and you can get a much more longer. But if you want to watch some is a high brightness content, then maybe shrink to six hours to eight hours. How you project the black? 
Oh, we switch off all the laser diode, so it means uh, no power output for the black. So is the best projection on the black wall? Uh, or not necessary? Yes, may maybe, but maybe not. Just depend on the, the content. If the content, they did really get uh, some uh, high brightness. It means will consume uh, much more power. But if your movie content is just like a horror movie, and uh, you don't have to worry about the, the power battery. If the cell phone can keep you around at least the two movies, then that will be fine and no problem at all. But also, they have uh, some condition. If you want to trans transfer your audio to other Bluetooth speaker, then will be another story. Now, we are talking about uh, really just for the projection, the audio just come from your, uh, your cell phone, and there will be at least four to six hours, should be no problem. Yeah, nice. Okay. That's really cool. What is the speed of the scanning? Okay, this uh, speed of scanning, actually, we doing for 60,000 position in per second. So it means uh, every second, we move the laser beam up to 60,000 to get a picture. So you can get a faster and stable image.